Hey boys and girls, it's me again, Mrs. French. Um, I'm going to read the next book in our series. And it is Hensel and Gretel Ninja Chicks. And um, again, it's by Carrie Rose, Corey Rosen Schwartz and Rebecca J. Gomez. It's illustrated by Caldecott Metal winner Dan Santat. And the publisher, I believe, is Scholastic. Okay, so remember um, we've read the Ninja Pigs. And can you tell, remind me what happened in uh, Three Little Ninja Pigs? I'll give you some time. If not, just think to yourselves. Um, and then remember, these all three of these books will be in the Google um, Classroom and on the YouTube page so that you can um, answer questions about them. Okay, so let me move my chair over. Here's our picture. Once upon a menacing time, two chicks knew a fox was at large. Their ma had been taken, and Pa was quite shaken. So Hensel and Gretel took charge. Uh oh. And look, if you look, Three Pigs Dojo. So they're going to probably train at the Three Pigs. Remember at the end of the Three Pigs book? They opened their own dojang. They trained in the art of ninjutsu and practiced their wing throw and blocks. They learned how to creep without making a peep so they wouldn't fall prey to the fox. One day, they returned from the dojo to a coop in complete disarray. The signs of a tussle showed someone with muscle had dragged their dear papa away. So their mama was missing, now their papa is missing. Now disarray means it's all messed up. Signs of a tussle means they were fighting. They quickly surveyed their surroundings. The fox left prints in the dirt. Come on, we're not chicken. The fox needs a licking before our poor papa gets hurt. So they're going to go find their papa. Follow the prince. They trekked till they spotted a feather. It looks like we're on the right track. They kept up the chase, dropping crumbs just in case. So they'd easily find their way back just like the real Hensel and Gretel. The forest grew twisted and tangled as Hensel and Gretel searched on. The light faded fast and they noticed at last that the trail and the breadcrumbs were gone. So they lost their breadcrumbs and now they're lost. They shuddered and groped in the darkness. We're lost, whispered Hensel with dread. They weaved and they wound and kept roaming around until they saw light up ahead. Uh oh it's from the cottage of cornbread let's eat Hensel clucked with delight she nibbled away till she heard someone say my dear come in for a bite I'll whip up some quick teriyaki while we wait for the tea cakes to bake why not Hansel reckon off guard for a second and look who's the owner of the cottage it's the fox do you like a cornbread made cottage They quickly saw her mistake. Uh-oh. She gasped and then dashed to the corner where Pop was confined in a crate. Watch out, Papa cried. You'll be chicken pot pie. She sidestepped, but it was too late. So if you look, there's the Papa. At least they found the Papa. But uh-oh. Fox got her. The fox plucked her up in a hurry and shoved her right into the pen. You're scrawny and tough, but you'll plump soon enough. From now, I'll just stir this hen. <gasps> the fluttering hen looked familiar. It's Mama, cried Hensel in shock. Hensel was scared, but she came well prepared. I bet I can jimmy this lock. So they also found their Mama. Outside in the dark, Greta listened, dismayed at the fox's misdeed. She climbed to the flue and squeezed her way through. So what's a flue? Sound like look like a chimney. With ninja like silence and speed. So good old Gretel. Then Gretel swooped in and snatched Mama and swiftly adjusted her stance. The fox took a leap. But with one feathered sweep, the chick boldly blocked her advance. So she blocked the fox. Good job. Not bad, said the fox striding toward them. Give up, Gretel clucked undeterred. 
The fox said, Surrender? No way, chicken tender. Your cheap little threats are absurd. The fox charged and grappled with Gretel, a flurry of feathers and fur. The fox held her tight, but Gretel ran right as something zipped past with the whirl. A whir. <laughs> Look what it is. It's the pan. Radiator surroundings, right? With the fox in a daze, Gretel vaulted as Hensel and Papa broke free. So remember Hensel, Hensel, I always say Hansel and Gretel, but it says Hensel. With one wicked spin, Hensel kicked in the air. You're done with your chick frying spree. She slammed the door shut and then locked it. The fox crumpled, looked unnerved, looking unnerved. You two ninja chicks got us out of that fix. Injustice, not dinner, was served. They're heroes. From then on, they made it their mission to rescue, protect, and defend. They'd work night and day to liberate prey till bird napping came to an end. Uh-oh, they're getting that, trying to get that pig, trying to get the little pen. The end, and it ends with the cornbread uh, cottage. All right, that's the end of that one. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as the three ninja pigs. Um, don't forget to watch, and then look out our next one is going to be Ninja Red Riding Hood. All right, bye. Thank you for listening and watching.